Cookery Grade 9, First Quarter Learning Outcome Number 1 Our topic is Clean and Maintain Kitchen Tools and Equipment Including Kitchen Premises Cleaning and sanitizing kitchen tools and equipment must be part of the standard operating procedures that make up your food safety program. Improper cleaning and sanitizing kitchen surfaces allow harmful microorganisms to be transferred from one food to another. The following are the list of cooking materials, kitchen utensils, and equipment that are commonly found in the kitchen. Here are the materials used in making cookwares. Aluminum Aluminum is most commonly used in the kitchen and most popular because it is lightweight, attractive, and less expensive. It requires care to keep it shiny and clean. It also gives even heat distribution no matter what heat temperature you have. It is available in sheet or cast aluminum. Since it is a soft metal, the lighter gauges will dent and scratch easily, making the utensils unusable. Aluminum turns dark when used with alkalis such as potatoes, beets, carrots, and other vegetable while acid vegetable like tomatoes will brighten it. Stainless steel Stainless steel is also one of the most popular material used for tools and equipment, but it is more expensive. It is easier to clean and shine and will not wear out easily. Choose those with copper, aluminum or laminated steel bottoms to spread heat and keep the pot from getting dark spots. Stainless steel utensil may be bought in many gauges from light to heavy gauge. Glass cookware. Glass is used for making salad and dessert but not practical for top or surface cooking. Great care is needed to ensure for long shelf life of glass cookware. Cast iron cookware Cast iron is durable but must be kept oiled to avoid rusting. Salad oil with no salt or shortening can be rubbed inside and out and dried. Double boiler Double boiler is used when temperature must be kept below boiling, such as for egg sauces, puddings, and to keep food warm without overcooking. Teflon Teflon is a special coating applied inside aluminum or steel pots and pans. It prevents food from sticking to the pan. It is easier to wash and clean, but take care not to scratch the teflon coating with sharp instruments such as knife or pork. Use wooden or plastic spatula to turn or mix food inside. Do not use hard scrub when cleaning cookware with teflon coating because it will damage or remove the teflon coating. Plastic and hard rubber Plastics are greatly durable and cheap, but may not last long. Other cookware materials are copper and clay or earthenware. Care of cooking ware After using any cookware, they must be allowed to cool before washing and soaking to prevent accidental burns from handling and to prevent damage. Cookware should be free from oil, grease, food, and other soil. Wash them using warm soapy water and rubbing them with a scrub cleaner. And rinse thoroughly with warm water. Drying them using a cloth after washing 
may preserve its appearance. Kitchen Tools Kitchen Tools is a small handheld tool used for food preparation. The following are the most common kitchen tools used in the kitchen. Can Opener Can Opener is used to open food containers. Colanders Colanders are also called vegetable strainer, which are essential for various tasks from cleaning vegetable to straining pasta or other foods. Cutting boards Cutting boards are also known as chopping boards are wooden or plastic board where meat, fruits, and vegetables are cut. Using plastic cutting board is more sanitary than wooden board as it does not absorb food juices that can serve as a medium for bacterial growth. Funnels A food grade funnel is often used to pour liquid or fine substance into a small opening such as a bottle or a jar. By using a funnel, you can prevent spills from occurring by providing optimal control while pouring. Garlic Press Garlic press is a kitchen tool which is specifically designed for the purpose of pulping garlic. Graters Graters are used to grate, shred, slice, and separate foods such as carrots, cabbage, and cheese. Kitchen Shears Kitchen shears are practical for opening food packages, cutting tape or string, or simply remove labels or tags from items. Potato Masher Potato masher is used for mashing cooked potatoes, turnips, carrots, or other soft-cooked vegetables. Rotary Egg Beater It is used for beating small amount of eggs or butter. The beaters should be made of stainless steel. Scraper A rubber or silicone tool used to blend or scrape the food from the bowl. Serving Spoons A large spoon used to serve out individual portions of food. It is used in preparing and serving. Serving Tongs It is used to grab and transfer food items, poultry or meat portions to a serving platter, hot, deep fryer, and plate. It gives you a better grip especially when used with a deep fryer. Spatula. It is used to level off ingredients when measuring and to spread frostings and sandwich fillings. Spoons. Solid, slatted, or perforated, which are made of stainless steel or plastics. There are many kinds of spoons, such as coffee spoon, dessert spoon, sundae spoon, table spoon, soup spoon, and salad spoon. Temperature Scales It is used to measure heat intensity. Different thermometers are used for different purposes in food preparation. For meat, candy, or deep-fried frying, and other small thermometers are hung or stand in ovens or refrigerators to check the accuracy of the equipment's thermostat. Whisk or Wire Whisk it is used for blending, mixing, whipping eggs or butter, and for blending gravies, sauces, and soups. The beaters are made of loop steel piano wires, which are twisted together to form the handle. Wooden spoons are made of hardwood, which are used for creaming, stirring, and mixing. Measuring tools Measuring tools are used to determine the specific amount of an ingredient required by using a standard measurement device. Measuring cup for liquid ingredients are commonly made up of heat 
proof glass and transparent so that the liquid can be seen. Measuring spoons. It comes in variety of sizes, shapes, materials, and colors. These are used to measure smaller quantities of ingredients. Household scales are used to weigh large quantities of ingredients in kilos, commonly in rice, flour, sugar, legumes or vegetables and meats up to 25 pounds. Scoops or dippers are used to serve or scoop soft foods such as fillings, ice cream, and mashed potato. The following are the different types of knives according to its use. French knife, or commonly called as chef's knife. It is used to chop, dice, or mince food. Fruit and salad knife. It is used to prepare vegetables and fruits. Kitchen knives, often referred to as cook's or chef's tools. It is used for all types of kitchen tasks such as peeling an onion, slicing carrots, carving a rose, or turkey. Citrus knife. It has two-sided blade and serrated edge. It is used to section citrus fruits. Paring knife. It is used to core, peel, and section fruits and vegetables. Blades are short, concave, with hollow ground. Vegetable peeler. It is used to scrape or peel vegetables such as carrots, potatoes, and fruits. The best ones are made of stainless steel with sharp double blade that swivels. The following are the most common kitchen equipment. Equipment. Kitchen equipment may refer to a small electrical appliance such as a mixer or a large, expensive, power-operated appliance such as a range or a refrigerator. Equipment like range, ovens, and refrigerators are mandatory pieces in the kitchen or in any food establishment. Refrigerators and freezers. These are necessary in the kitchen to prevent bacterial infections from food. Most refrigerators have special compartment for meat, fruits, and vegetables to keep the moisture content of each type of food. Butter compartment holds butter separately to prevent food odors from spoiling its flavor. Oven It is a chamber or compartment used for cooking, baking, heating, or drying. Microwave ovens are common kitchen appliance and are popular for heating previously cooked foods and cooking variety of foods. Blenders are used to chop, blend, mix, whip, puree, grate, and liquefy all kinds of food. A blender is a very useful appliance. They vary in the amount of power or voltage and wattage. This is Mylene Huliganga. Thank you for watching.